Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, guys, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by smashing that subscribe button right now. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you drop down in that comp, that description section for links of different things that you might be interested in. The number one thing that I want you to click is the link to the chatterbox to do live streams with me. Hang out with your girl live once a month at least, sometime twice a month. And it's only a dollar and ninety nine cents. Girl, give me them fries. Um, no. um, and you have to be eighteen years old in order or older to join. Yes, and I do use the word um 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 a lot. So it's because my memory is bad. I forget a lot of stuff. So hey, there it is. But I just wanted to show you guys, baby Noah, because I know you guys don't see him that often. But I wanted to show you guys. I decided to get him dressed up today and I thought he was so cute and it's just been so hard to get his coloring to show up um, on camera but I realized with him when I put those very very white lights on him it bring out some of his undertones that may make him look a little different but I can promise you guys um, what I realize now is that he is actually better out of the white light so anyway just crazy, crazy, craziness with trying to uh, capture his coloring, but he is so cute. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yes, this is why he is the one. He's been with me for over a year now, so which is kind of a record for me. Um, but he is the Willow Asleep. He is prototype number two. You guys know most of my dolls that I collect for some reason are number two. And... Um, so I think that's my lucky number when it comes to collecting. And, um, but yeah, he is, he is number, number two, um, prototype number two by Claritella. And, um, his addition, the kit addition size was only 15. So, um, half the size of the Willow Awake edition, which Willow Awake edition was 30, which still isn't bad at all. Um, so anyway, I don't know why I had to say all that, but I made some videos for you guys this morning and I'm just a little, uh, I don't know if I really want to put it out there. I think, you know, I think I was a little too raw, too, you know, too open with certain topics. And I was, I was going to start something where I kind of talk about some of the, the uncomfortable things that people don't talk about in the doll hobby, but then I thought about it. That's going to send me down in a rabbit hole and I'm going to end up saying something that's going to offend somebody and then I'm going to have to go through this whole defending myself again. So I just rather not. I'll just talk about y'all behind y'all backs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, <laughs> just kidding. No, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of serious. Um, but, <laughs> but no, I'll just talk about those subjects. You know, I'm trying something new, guys. I'm trying to be, you know, neutral across the board and just keep some of the sidebar conversation to just what it should be sidebar conversation and just let the hobby do what it do you know go with the flow it, it works much better for us i don't have to keep fighting people with all their crazy posts and i mean people still gonna say stuff and do stuff but i just found that although it may get a lot of views for me to talk about the the, the hot topics and the, the cringy topics and all that and stuff. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it. But if I do change my mind and decide to drop that video, it'll probably just go in a chatter box because, hey, it is what it is. At least they're paying for it. But, um, I don't know. I, I just think I... Anyway, but I hope you guys enjoy him in this little outfit. It's only... It's a zero to three month jamboree. I've had it for a long time, as you guys might remember. Kingston wore this outfit and it's so funny because um Kingston is smaller than him or not not so much smaller than him but smaller than him like the sculpting is so different so I think that's another thing that's kind of crazy and weird that that is hard to explain sometime on camera and pictures and you know video that the babies can be the same like measurements but depending on how they're sculpted it makes them appear smaller or you know more baby or this and other because Noah is still not a huge baby but he is a really good size and so and Kingston was a good size too 
um, and Kingston wore it, but I think Noah is a more thicker baby. Like he got fatter thighs. I like, I don't know. And yeah, he's got fatter thighs and um, you know more thicker hands, so to speak. You know stuff like that. Like little, it's just little thing. I think bigger ears, maybe. I don't know. But he's different. So he wears the outfit different. So I like to keep a lot of my favorite outfits and a lot of my babies will wear them. And it actually makes every baby look different in the outfits. So here's a budgeting tip. Stop reshopping for every single baby because you end up with all this stuff. Sometimes you can recycle your stuff. I don't get rid of an outfit. You guys know I purge every so often and give, um, give my baby doll clothes to real babies mostly teenage moms that you know need to be spending whatever money they do have on other things other than clothes and shoes and um, even sometimes my accessories like um, furniture I'll give to real babies sometimes stuff still have tags on it but a lot of times before I actually get rid of a favorite outfit every baby in the nursery would be done wore it you know that's that gender for that outfit and then I pass it on um but yeah and then now that I have a grandbaby my granddaughter I go through here sometime and I just say okay she's getting this 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 she can wear this 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 you know and that's what I'm gonna be doing for her and I'm gonna be buying little stuff and you guys can be like oh my god I can't believe she got that for her doll well guess what I'm gonna do it it's gonna work for photo shoots and then boom guess who's gonna be having it Audrey that's right Audrey is the, the little princess now she's the real princess can't wait till she start running around and walking around. Oh, she's going to be like, oh, grandma, can I get this? But she ain't going to be able to come in this doll room, honey. Uh-uh. I don't do no toddlers in my doll room. Them, them, them babies be trying to do things. They think these babies is real and they go to pull and want to pull on fingers and all that. Uh-uh. Toddlers. Um, children, period. I don't, my, when I have guests over, my nursery is locked. Seriously. I don't, I don't want pets. I don't want. Kids, I don't even want adults in my nursery. Anyway, that's just me and my selfish ways, but hey, it is what it is. But nevertheless, I don't even know what size shoe this is. Let's see. This is, and this is Koala Baby. This is actually a size zero, but it's a pretty big size shoe. Because I remember it was a little... But because it and it and it's kind of got a wideness to it and it open up and so you can stretch it. I won't put my babies on shoes that I have to force on their feet. So but normally um my willow babies wear a size one. So some zeros, like you said, different depends on the brand. But that's where people be like, uh, that baby ain't this, this size or that size. And she lied. Not necessarily. It just depends on the brand. Um, because Noah has put on um, three months. He has put on a newborn. He's wore zero to three. He's wore, now this is a size zero shoe. You guys know I don't really put my babies on shoes. So I ain't even tell that lie. And size one. Um, I buy baby deer shoes for all my babies. As you guys see in their little shoe collection. It pretty much consists of baby deer in every size. And then, um, you know, this actually came, these shoes, I think, came with one of my babies. I don't know. But I know this outfit came with a reborn. I don't know if y'all remember Romy. Romy was my, um, I forget the kit, but the kit was never, ended up never being produced. Um, it was a prototype uh, for, was it a prototype? I think so, for Lorna Miller Sands doll. And it ended up only being the prototype was, a, the prototypes were the only ones that ever got produced. The other ones never got produced. And um, I don't know what happened with the pre-order or what happened. I don't know. But anyway, that outfit came with him and I kept it. I sure did. Sorry, baby. Um... <laughs> I keep, um, I do keep my, uh, I keep things out of my box opening boxes unless it's the, like, Claire Tellers and, 
you know, like those type things that's custom to them. Da -da 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 -da. Um, because when I do a box opening for the new mommy, I buy new stuff because I feel like they don't want old stuff. If that's the case, then it would be really nice and you could save money because I just send the same old blanket. And if, I, if you've had the doll for six months to a year, you know, nine times out of ten, the outfit is outdated um, or it's been worn several times and the blankets and it doesn't have that new crisp feel and stuff like that. So, um, I just feel like I would prefer you just send me something new. So I send the mommy something new. So that's my explanation on that. And if you don't like it too bad, then, um, hey, but normally, like I said, if it's a clear tell or something like that, people want the original. And you know, that's another thing. Like, I think it's mostly only like Clara Teller. I don't know if, and I don't know if Romy Stratum does, and I'm sure Romy Stratum has like some things that's, you know, specific to her babies or whatever. But it's like a big to do that you have to send the originals and <clears throat> you have to hold on to those originals. So that's just a mental note for some of you guys that are new to collecting. Um, also, oh, while we're speaking on it, let me, let me mention this really quickly. Um, the, what was I going to say? Oh gosh, I forgot. Oh, well, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, um, child, I don't forget. I'm going to just talk about it later in another video. <laughs> I hate when that happens, but it happens to me all the time. I should be used to it. See you guys later in the next video. Bye.